Hey everyone, so we have gotten a good bit of school done. Not done, we're breaking for lunch. Harper's my little lunch helper. <laughs> She's looking at me smiling. Oh, so it was funny. Um, in upon, uh, sorry, in Logan's school reading, the word tranquil was in it. Actually, no, it was in our read aloud. It was in our read aloud. And I said to the kids, you know what tranquil means? And they said no. And Logan said like a, a tranquilizer. I cannot talk y'all. <laughs> Logan said like a tranquilizer. I said, well, no. And I was explaining, you know, what tranquil meant. Anyways, the kids had went outside um, while I was making lunch. And Logan just came in. And he goes, wow, it's so tranquil in here. Because everybody's outside. <laughs> it was so cute. <laughs> All right. So moving on with our day. Getting lunch going. I've got, I did mac and cheese in the crock pot. And Harper is cutting cucumber slices for us. And while I'm thinking about it, because I did also pause and put my makeup on, I recently have gotten so many questions. I'm trying to like not have the shadow on my face and my hair is looking crazy. I have not done my hair yet. Anyways, I've gotten a lot of questions recently about what lipstick I've been wearing, which is so funny to me. I got this, it was like a pack of five lipsticks for like $5.99 or something like that at Ross a while ago. And I have primarily been wearing just one of the colors. It doesn't have a name on it though. It's Marie Claire Paris brand so which I don't know that I've ever heard of Marie Claire that's not saying anything though because I am not a brand guru by any means um it is similar to a color that I have had from L'Oreal I believe um anyway so just uh, I've I've wanted to find the name of it huh? yeah that's good thank you yes please thank you um, I wanted to reference that, but I don't have a name. So that's how come I haven't fully answered that, if that makes any sense. So also on my list today, I have been researching and looking for kitchen sinks. I'm so excited, y'all. Just all the little details. Um, I honestly have always wanted to do a fixer upper or build or something like that. Obviously, that is not the path that we ended up down. Um, can you say hi? Which is fine. We will make this house our own. So I joke with Nathan that we bought a brand new fixer upper because, Can you put this up? Um, yeah, if you don't mind putting that on my vanity, please. Thank you. <laughs> so I joke with Nathan because there's a lot, and you know, it's a basic home that we got, um, which is fine. And we can make it, you know, ours over time. So with all that said, the kitchen sink in it is very small, like very, very, very small. Yes, it is. Um, and it will not, you know, work that great for us. So I've been looking at kitchen sinks and faucets and trying to figure out what I want. What I want, I would love a farmhouse sink, but that opens up a can of worms of fixing the counter, cutting more of the countertop and the cabinets. And we just need something easy right now. We are not trying to do a kitchen renovation. That will be something that will be later. You know, what's there will work perfectly fine. So I need a drop-in sink, a bigger drop-in sink. And I'm trying to decide between stainless steel and black. I really, my mind was just stainless steel. That's all that I was going to get. You say hi. <laughs> but in looking at them, I really like the black. I'm kind of surprised that I like it. I just don't know if it'll look really good. I do think I'm going to do a black faucet though. So in the kitchen, the cabinets are darker. I do like the color of the cabinets. The appliances are black and the hardware is black. And so everybody's now part of my conversation. <laughs> you doing good? Okay, good job. That was out of basics. Yeah. So, I think a black faucet would look good. I think. Even with stainless or black sinks. I'm just trying to make these decisions. So, what are y'all's thoughts? The countertops are lighter. I don't care for the countertops. I did think I could paint them. Or, you know, I mean, it's not the end of the world. Just have them, you know, until... So, all that to say, I'm very excited about all the small details. And even buying a kitchen sink and a faucet. So I found that Amazon is cheaper than like Home Depot or Lowe's, which was surprising to me. Um, but today, this afternoon, we have an appointment and it's by the Habitat store. It's a restore Habitat for Humanity and they resell, you know, pieces that they've had from uh, previous projects. So I think I'm going to run in there later on today and just see if I happen to see a sink or a faucet or anything else that, you know, we could use in the house. I love the idea of reusing and repurposing, huh? Um, so that's on my plan today, but I'm trying to, honestly, it will boil down. Like if I see a deal at the Habitat store on a stainless sink, 
I'm going to go with stainless because I'm just practical and frugal like that. Even though, like, if I really like the black, um, I could go either way, honestly. So, excited about that, huh? All the details are so exciting to me. i just excited that we're here. Another thing that I need to get soon is a mailbox. So, that will be fun as well. I've been looking those up, too. Um, yeah, we got to get that actually really soon. Like one of those big round ones or like a smaller one? A bigger one. So, yeah. bigger than our last one? Yeah. Um... But I got a comment and it just kind of, I don't know, I just wanted to address it. There was a comment of, you know, in the house, it was like black appliances, question mark. Like, I don't really know what you were referencing, whether like why black appliances. The appliances is what came with the house. We didn't pick, you know, black or stainless or anything like that. But honestly, I'm just thankful for appliances. The house comes with new appliances. You know, the sink is obviously new too, but it's just not big enough for us. The stove is new. The fridge is new. The dishwasher. It might not be high end or in trend or whatever, but those things just don't really matter. What matters is that we have, you know, a functional refrigerator that we can keep our food cold and, you know, our freezer stuff frozen in. Just thankful for that. And honestly, I am not impressed with stainless steel. That's kind of how come I'm wondering about the black sink. We purchased our fridge is out in the garage here. I was pregnant with Drew. He turns five tomorrow, actually. Um, so it's four and a half years old, roughly. Right? No, five. can't believe it's five years old. Anyways, it's five years old. I got the stainless steel, the ones that scratch proof, finger proof, whatever. It's a lie, y'all. They leave all sorts of marks and it happened like right away. Granted, we are a big family, so we are harder on things. And as far as like our use of stuff, I get that. But to have it scratch immediately and this whole fingerproof thing is just, it's a lie because it shows every mark and every fingerprint and every swipe on it. And it's harder to keep clean. And I just don't like that. I need practical and I need functional in my life and not worry about I don't know, the latest trend or having the fridge with all the drawers and all of this. Like, it just, I don't know. Um, so just focus on, I guess, things to be thankful for versus is this in style or is this in trend or what have you. With that said, I do like my things to be nice and pretty and aesthetically pleasing. Like, I enjoy decorating and stuff like that. Anyways, I'm going down a rabbit hole. It's just, it surprises me where people's minds go. I'm thankful for a house. And I get that not everybody would choose to do something like we are doing, but having the property and land is important to us for our kids to have that freedom of being kids, you hungry, versus living, you know, in a subdivision with the houses on top of each other. So this is, huh? yeah, I think so. Anyways, I will stop and see. Um, anyway, so it just... I feel like things are not made to last either. Just like washers and dryers. Like our grandparents' washers and dryers, actually my first set washer and dryer lasted 20 years. And now this new stuff, it doesn't last. And I feel like it's done on purpose to keep us spending money and to keep buying new appliances. And it's just frustrating to me. Anyways, I will really stop my ramble now. So all that to say, this is what we got going on. Doing lunch, gonna finish up school. I do have some errands to run. We're gonna go to the library. Um, we have an appointment by that restore, so I'm hoping to go into the restore. I do need to go into Walmart. Um, I have all of Drew's table surprises for his birthday tomorrow morning, except for candy. So, you know, I put out some fun little treats and their favorite candy. So I do need to run in and just get a couple pieces of candy for him. So that's my list today. Also, all the normal cleanups from, you know, living. Let's see what we can find. I was just thinking, is it longer than our table? Yeah, tape measure. I don't know. I should start carrying a tape measure with me. It seems like it's the same length of our table, huh? Because we need a longer table. Yep. Alrighty. Look at these. Dental is 
Right, I know, yes. <laughs> More colored chairs over here. Kind of seems slim pickings. Lighting. No chicken chandeliers here, y'all. <laughs> yeah, those are pretty. No. Just theirs is metal without box. Those are big. Yeah. They're like high ceilings. All right, let's see. Kitchen sinks. That's actually not a bad price. $20 for an outdoor table. We've always said that these are a little bit bigger. $30? They're like $50 or more brand new. We've always said that we wanted to get one. You know, they come in handy. No sinks. It's actually very slim pickings here. Um, I talked to somebody and they said that the other location usually has more construction types materials. So I will have to go there. It's across town. Not going there today. That'll be another day, but it was worth trying since we were just down the road. Picking out the candy for Drew. So they have dinosaur gummies. Lunchable gummies. Oh my goodness. That looks gross. <laughs> yeah. Look at that piece. Ew. That looks like the um, little SpongeBob camper. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then we're going to do a confetti white cake and chocolate frosting. Let's see what else we can get them. Home from all the things, and tonight, yes, frozen lasagna for the win. <laughs> but Peyton made coffee, um, homemade copycat Texas Roadhouse rolls. And the cinnamon butter. I got something on my hand. What is on my hand? It is fair. It's for his birthday, baby. So good. All right, show y'all real quick Drew's table surprises before I put a bit. So Nathan drew um, Drew's <laughs> picture this time, and it's normally me. But I asked him to because it's just fun to have him do those things sometimes. So he wrote Drew. He's turning five, y'all. Can y'all believe that? Let's go. And then Logan drew him a sweet picture with Ninja Turtles. He did such a sweet job. All right, so we got him those dinosaur gummies, some gum. Addie really wanted to get him some gum, and she picked that out. So I got these things a while ago on um, for him. So this is a dinosaur egg, and then these binocular things. Um, I got fruit snacks, honestly thinking that we could share, you know, with Camden and Kinley because they're going to be up early too. So, um, I got a whole box, a whole box of fruit snacks, you know, thinking that they would share. I thought that he would like this Lego Ninjago thing. And then you got to have chocolate. So I got him Twix. I'm just all nice and cozy. I'm going to end this video here with y'all. I have been struggling so bad with meal ideas. Like, even the kids, like, all of us, I think, are just so drained. We don't have any more room <laughs> in our brains for meal ideas. So, I literally was calling Nathan today or texting him. I was like, I just need you to tell me what to make for dinner. And he said, what about that frozen lasagna? And I was like, you're my kind of man. Thank you for that. I had forgotten that we had it. So, that worked out good. But tomorrow's going to roll around. And people are going to want to eat again. And I got nothing. Oh, tomorrow's Drew's birthday. So now I really have to think of something. I could just ask him what he wants. So, so much going on. Um, in a previous video, I don't remember what I titled it. I'm really bad about that. There's just no more room up here. But I had mentioned that I was suffering with like this headache neck thing. And a lot of y'all commented was like, Jessica, that's probably a stress tension headache. And I was like, y'all are so smart. I don't know why I don't think of these things. It honestly was there for like a week. I felt... It's been gone for the last couple days. Praise the Lord. Because that is no fun. Um, but y'all just bringing that to my mind. I was like, okay, Jessica, you just need to take some deep breaths and relax. I don't feel like I'm like overly stressed. I think I'm just overly, like there's just so much going on and so much that needs my attention. Um, I mean, there is some stress to it for sure, but I don't know. Anyway, so we've got some... You know, just some exciting things that are happening. 
and things to do, but it's also a lot, um, on top of, you know, homeschooling and meals, if I can even count that right now. I do feed them, so that counts, right? <laughs> the grocery shopping and all the activities and stuff, so I don't know. It's just been a lot, but we are making it, and I'm, I'm very thankful. I don't want to sound like I'm complaining because I'm not meaning it that way, but anyways, I don't ever show, like, behind the scenes stuff, but I'm actually working on a video for tomorrow. Um... So I've got some videos, you know, I'm trying, trying to do more. And then again, that, you know, that's adding more to my plate. So if I miss some, that's why just some days I'm like, nope, I cannot take on one more thing today. So anyways, thank you guys always again for your love and support here. We, we appreciate you guys so much. I hope that you all are doing well. Um, thank you guys for watching and we'll see y'all in the next video.